Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Kobok here, and for this one, I will be doing a pet spotlight on the Kun Chong Hatchling, which is a pet that I'm very surprised I didn't do a spotlight uh, way sooner because uh, it's a pretty cool pet, I'd have to say. Uh, I mean, it looks just like Kobok, except it's got a green coloring and it's a uh, power power type. It has crap for speed, but who cares really? Crap ton of attack power and pretty good health. And there's pretty much like two different builds that you can do with him. You can do the old poison fang and puncture wound. Uh, the middle slot is kind of uh, optional. You can really take either or and you'll do great. His digest brain heals him for a crap ton on a three round cooldown because of his attack power. And the other build is basically body slam and uh, shell armor but if you do that then um, you won't have a like an attack to spam because you'll have a cooldown eventually so I do prefer this build okay then hell afflicted sky fan huh well let's just start with the Kunchong hatchling oh and uh one of my viewers, he has been really looking forward to me uh, doing the spotlight, so I named my uh, Kunchan Hatchling after him, named Shank. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I told him I'd get around to it, and now I'm doing it. So, if you're watching, buddy, hope you enjoy. Uh, he's probably going to switch me out. If not, then, um, like, he's going to take quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I figured. Uh, I'm gonna bring him back in. And uh, go for a puncture wound, because yeah, he probably will set that up first. At least his racial will be gone whenever he decides to come back in. Yep, I figured he would switch, so I'll go ahead and go for my heal. Pretty big heal right there. Go for poison thing. It's pretty slow, so like I'm not gonna have much more use for him anyway. He went for a stampede. Okay. Well, huh? Kind of contemplating on what I should do right now. Which like who I should go into that is. Uh, I guess I'll bring in a young Venom Fang. Let's see, he's got that on him right now. Poison Fang. Infected Claw is going to do the most damage, really. I mean, hopefully get some high-end hits. That was pretty good. Okay. Go for another Infected Claw. Ooh. Oh, the damage went first. <laughs> oh, man. Why did you do that, buddy? Alright, well, let's go for a poison thing into a wild wind. If he does the whole usual wind up thing, then that's okay because, um, in that case, Tunkins will have no problem cleaning up the rest of his team. Oh, especially with that crit. That crit just is icing on the cupcake right there. Really didn't need it, but um, I'll definitely take it. Let's go for a uh, simple punch, and a burp should finish you off, pal. Indeed, it will. Okie dokie. And yep, he ran away. All right, so what he's probably going to do because I do face that guy quite a bit. He usually always plays with the fell afflicted sky fan and change up his other two pets. He's probably going to change his other two pets or something. But um yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to play with this team again. I'll play with this team a little later, but uh, <laughs> oh man, what was I thinking when I made this team? I mean, it's an all beast team, mind you. So, I mean, it can count towards your uh you know, your beast family brawler, but uh all three of them on the same team. Oh man. I mean, 
They do, but they all have like my favorite model of pet in the game. Kovac is probably one of my favorite um pet models, which is why he's my uh, icon on YouTube. Obviously, I love him. But uh, yeah, these two, these are the only other two uh like Kovac models. So why not put them all, all on the same team? Uh, I mean, I don't need anybody to tell me this team isn't gonna do good because I know it's not. If you go against a triple mech team, you know your SOL right there, pal. But uh, I thought it'd be a pretty funny gimmick team. If I could get a win with this team, I'll be surprised as all hell. But uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what's uh, what's taking the queue? I figured with that guy around, the queue would be pretty quick because he usually does do. Uh, a couple of battles back to back, you know, but he does change his pets, except that Skyfin, though. A Skyfin can be quite annoying, but with this team, it's not that bad. This team, I'd say, is decently good. Um, the original team would be a uh, Death Adder Hatchling in place of the Kunchong Hatchling, but the Kunchong Hatchling uh, still ditches out quite a bit of damage than the Adder. And I chose to run Punch instead of uh, the magic ability on Tunkins. I thought it might uh, might come in more handy. For this team anyway. Since uh, there's already a bunch of dot damage anyway. If I go against a freaking Noob Sap Idol or some Sandstorm user. Then uh, Corrosion ain't going to do that well anyway. So I just took Punch. But uh, as far as getting the Kunchong Hatchling, you either get it from Island Expeditions or alternatively, you can get it off the auction house fairly inexpensive. Nowadays, I see that thing in there for like a couple hundred gold, really. So yeah, it's a pretty cheap pet, but uh, it's uh, it's decent. It's not as good as uh, Kovac, obviously, but I mean, it's it's alright, I guess. Tier 2, I guess, at the most. Definitely not Tier 1. Uh, I mean, it's hell of a lot better than Spawn of Garillon. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Whew. Uh, wonder what's taking the queue. There we go. Let's, uh... Hop into this next one then. I got a pretty cool transmog that I did for my little dwarf here. It looks pretty cool. Declined, I guess. So, uh, back to uh, back to this, I suppose. Probably just do a uh, quick three battles anyway. So I'll play with this team and give this uh, this team a go. I guess I know uh, some people <laughs> love to see me suffer, like I uh, uh about to say Ira Ari. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Whew. Look at that beautiful little pet. They're not zooming in. Oh, there we go. Look at him. That beautiful little bug. Alright, here we go. 
Let's uh, hop into the second battle. Ooh, all magic team. And this is the first time I've ever gone against the Azerite Puddle. That's pretty cool. Wow. I don't even think I have this pet. Oh, no, I don't. Not yet, anyways. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's, uh... Huh. Start out with uh, the Kuntong Hatchling, I guess. I, uh... What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That crit. That was pretty lucky. Uh, what I was going to say was, before that crit, is that, uh, my young Venifang is not going to have a very good time. Not at all. Okay, so yeah, he does have the... Oh no, he's got slime. I thought that was, um... Another ability with that same... Same picture. I forgot what it's called, though. Uh, can I get a poison thing off before dying? Let's see. Oh, no. Not unless if he goes for egg sponge. And hits on the high end, of course. So that's that. Uh, I mean, I am faster than uh, this disgusting noozling on Tumpkin, so this is going to be pretty good for me. I mean, regardless if he has absorb or not. Yep, I mean, he's going to get a tiny bit of healing, but it's not going to be significant for him as far as damage goes. This is why Tunkins is really damn good if he's faster. Uh, let's see. I would just go for a Jar of Smelly Liquid anyway, because a punch is not enough to kill him. Okie dokie. Here we go against this, uh, this Wisp here. Gonna have to dance around 50%. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go into the Young Venom thing. I mean, it is strong. Oh, he went for that. Okay. Does that mean you have Beam? Oh, no, he's got Light. I mean, he crit with it, which is bad. Um. Huh. Okay. I don't know why you didn't go straight into light then. Maybe he saw a swap coming or something. You never know. Let's throw up these dots because I'm going to get a uh, flash coming towards me anyway. The only thing he can do is soul ward, which I will still hit even while um, blinded. He didn't go for it though, so luckily I did land that hit, so that's good. Now it's going to go down. I don't know why you waited. Uh, oh well, I win. I mean, I was pretty sure I was going to win in any way, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't know why he waited. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's try this gimmick team out, boys. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe against that guy it might, might work. I don't know. But, uh, I'm telling you, if I go against... Like, maybe even one mechanical. Probably a loss if I go against that triple uh, Rotten Little Helper guy. That's definitely a loss. <clears throat> For sure. Oh no, it's this guy. <laughs> and he's got Server to Divi Dos. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm going to lose, boys. This isn't good. I mean, he's going to start out with that to bring in the lowest health pet. So, if I start with Spawn of Garillon. Oh no, he's going straight into Demidos. Damn. Well, that sucks. Hey, am I able to zoom in? Yo, I totally can. Well, this looks cool. It's a bit closer up. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just, I guess, throw up shell armor. Oh, I mean, unless if I get stunned right there. That's always fun. No, Kovac, you're you're the uh, bread and butter of the team. Really, you're the only one who can really get stuff done. If you die, the team basically dies. Wow, Kovac is incredibly smaller than the other two. And then uh, this one's the next bigger one. And then, damn, Spawn Garlon is huge. 
Holy crap. Kovac, you're just the itty bitty baby of the three. Alright, so he's got all that on him. But he's got Soul Rush right now. Come on, Kunchong. You can do this. Puncture wound. Alright, nice. Boom, boom. Alright, I killed one of his pets. Mission success. Now I lose. Because there's no way I'm going to uh, be able to take this guy down. No way at all. I might as well just pack it up and uh and sign out, boys. This is Kovac speaking. I'm not gonna make it. Come on, uh, Garalon, you could do this, buddy. Put your back into it with your over-inflated health. Oh no, it's my uh, it's the bane. Of this guy's team, the Iron Starlet. Come on, super crit with this claw. Ah, no, no luck for me. Okay, well, uh, let's just go for Poison Fang. Oh, wait, he's not even going for a uh, wind up. Come on, digest brains. Live! <laughs> Live! There we go. Oh no, how much damage does this do? Not enough. Wow, I'm surprised I took out his Iron Starlet. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, I'm so slow, uh, I mean, I would have had a chance to win. But I'm going to go second here, so there's no way. Unless if he, like, DC'd or something. But uh, I'm not going to wish that upon him. That was still pretty close, though, I'd have to say. Um, let's see. You know what? I might do... I'm thinking of doing another battle. I might do one more battle. Yeah, one more. I mean, y'all had y'all's fun. Y'all got to see me use th these three on the same team. Yeah, I lost. It's pretty close, though. But, yeah, I lost. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not a war bot. Oh no! Um, it's probably gonna start out with it too, seeing all, uh, seeing this Kunchong actually. I'm just gonna start out with Tunkins. Yeah, I figured. Probably either throw down Minefield or Extra Plating first. Yep. Predictions for days! Uh, he might do minefield now, so here's a little trick right here. Oh, he's not doing it. What I was going to do was, if he threw up minefield, and as long as he had this on him, I could really, I could even switch into Kuntong, and he'd take, like, way less damage, even though it would still be strong. But I was going to switch into, uh, Young Venomfang. But, I mean, if he's going to try and fight me, I'll definitely take out his war butt. That's for sure. Now, the big question is, do I jar smelly liquid so I could take reduced damage from this? Nah, I don't think so. I'll just kill him. Tunkins might be able to solo his whole team, if I'm being completely honest. And might be able to wait out in the minefield, too. Oh, that crit, though. That juicy crit. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. He's probably going to drain the bl uh, drain blood. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, let's throw down Wild Winds, then. Come on, young Venom Fang. You can do it, baby. I believe in you. Uh, okay, well, maybe I'll go first. Come on, go first. Yes. Nice. Oh, well, he was going for that anyway. Alright, you're gonna get some heals. I'll admit, you're gonna get some heals, but I'm gonna get these this down. I went first again. That's good. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's poisoned right now. So I can go into the Kunchong. And go for a puncture. Puncture wound. Yeah. I mean, it's still gonna do quite a bit of damage, you know. I got freaking 345 attack power, friend. Um. Uh, he's probably gonna throw a touch of animus on me. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. Alright, Jar of Smelly Liquid. Uh, he's uh, doing 75% less damage. Wow, that still hit for a little over 100. Okay. Alright, let's get off this burp. I need to get off this burp. Nice, he went for build turret. <laughs> Oh goodness. Alright, well. Alright. Uh let's go for jar. Ooh, I barely lived. Alright, let's go for a punch. Oh, he healed for quite a bit too. Um Let's see. What is he going to do? Is he going to build another turret? Oh no, he didn't. Okay, cool. Cool. I think he loses right here. Yep. And there's no way that turret's going to kill me off. Good job, Kunjong Hatling. You uh you finished the battle. I'm proud of you. But uh yeah, that will wrap it up for this one, friends. Just a uh, pet spotlight on this pretty cool pet. Uh, it's power, power. It's the hardest hitting of the three of these uh, bugs. And uh, you can get it from Island Expedition Drops, or, like I said, it is very, very cheap on the auction house, depending on which server you're on. I mean, some may be uh, a little more, but unlike the servers I'm on they're like a couple hundred gold so really you can easily get this pet but yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this is Kovac and I'll see you guys in the next one peace